Are we ready guys? Are we ready to see the Goose opening? Today I'm going to be showing you the newest opening which I have created myself and I think it's a wonderful one. It's called the Goose opening and the wonderful thing about this opening is all you need to remember is Goose goes honk. You start off with the move G4. Now this already exists as an opening, it's known as the Grob opening, but today we're going to delve into what's known as the goose opening, which is a little bit different. So the first opening, first line of the opening that I want to show you guys is the main line goose opening, where if they go D5 here, which is probably the most common response, uh, where they want to open up this bishop and they want to attack this G4 pawn. So what you do here is you remember goose goes honk and you've played goose and now you go. And then after they play something like E5, then you play H4 for honk. There we go. So. This is very fun, but the main idea, bishop comes out to g2, you'll push these pawns at the right time, you're probably going to try and castle queenside because, you know, obviously you've pushed the pawns on this side, and it's lots of fun. If they don't play d5, and they play e5 instead, here you're just going to go straight for the honk, and you're going to play h4. And you're probably going to try and transpose into the same setup, get this bishop out, play g4. So whenever they're playing d5, remember they're attacking your pawn here and you've got to push it forward. Get the bishop out and castle queenside. And this is the rule for the goose opening. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know, guys, as a goose connoisseur. And what I'm going to do today is just play the exact same thing with the black pieces. I mean, isn't it great when you can just play the same thing? So four g5 and you're goosed up already and I guess you can't really go for the goose goes honk line in this one so we're probably gonna have to go for h6 so just a bit of a goose honk action this is the rules for the goose opening and I am about to start off with 400 elo no my regular rating is not 400 <gasps> my regular rating is around 2200 for anyone who's new here but I am doing a speed run at the moment where I'm going to start off in the pool against 400 ELO opponents and I'm going to try and work my way up as much as I can. And I think it's going to be cool to see how far I can get with this opening. And yes, we've got that beautiful 400 ELO to start off with. A wonderful profile picture as well. And also with speedruns, by the way, if you think it's unfair that I'm going to play against 400 ELO players in the pool, totally, <laughs> totally understand you. But all my points will be refunded to anyone who loses points to me if I'm winning. You get your points refunded, okay? And it's got a little thing on my account saying that it's a speedrun account, so if anyone's like, hey, this looks like a cheater, it's, it lets you know. And look at this profile picture, guys. Isn't it great? Let's get ready and play the first game. Okay, oh, yes, we've got the white pieces to start off with today. I'm so happy, okay. So at the start, my rating's probably going to increase a little bit quicker because it's still not quite calibrated. Why am I going to play uh, E4? Okay, so we start off with G4 today and they're playing E5. Any, any 400s, 300s, I guess, can snipe me in the pool at the moment. So they're playing E5. So here we go straight for the honk and we play H, H4. And now they bring their knight out here, which is great because we want to play this with the goose opening anyway. And now we get to kick a knight in response. I think E3 looks nice to try and open up the attack on the knight. Immediately try and put some pressure on this knight here. I mean, I'm playing the goose opening. My opponent's playing the move the knight as many times as possible opening. We're both, we're both doing some stuff here. Okay, so they play a nice move d5. Now they're defending the knight and we're going to go... Let's go bishop h3 here. So we've got the goose set up. But I do want to just target my opponent's mistakes, bringing this knight out a little bit, a little bit early. Okay. Could I have just trapped the knight? Did I just miss trapping the knight with f3? I did. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Now we can play it anyway. So we're going to go f3. We're going to take. Okay, so we've already won a piece. This opening's clearly OP, guys. Okay, now I'm going here. I'm going to capture back. We've used a little bit of time on the clock, but now I've got a lot of, a lot of extra material. And we're planning to push forward with the f6. Yeah, I'm 400 elo. I'm, I'm just goosing around, you know. Just goosing around. Okay, so they give me a check here. This is actually a really good move because they want to capture this here. So maybe I go king, D, king e2. Looks a little crazy, but then they can't capture here with check. Yeah, I'm going to go king e2 here. Well, they can capture over here with check, which is like, you know, it looks a little scary. So I'm going to go for king e2. 
Well, if I just played c3 or something, they capture an h4 check. Now, if they capture an h4, I can go here. Okay. Okay, maybe they're just looking for as many checks as they can get. Okay. Maybe I'm overestimating my opponent a little bit. Okay, let's go queen d3. I'm happy with the queen trade here. Oh, I don't have pre moves enabled yet. What the heck? Oh, they actually take the pawn. Okay. Wait. I need to get pre moves enabled. Ah! Okay, here we go. So here I thought just knight f3. Attack the queen here. And okay, they bring the queen in there. And let's go bishop d2. I mean, this position is really crazy at the moment. Maybe just bishop d2. Or I could go for rook e. Oh no, my bishop. Okay, let's just go here and maybe bring this around. And it's gonna get flagged. No, I'm not gonna get flagged, guys. Okay, this is the first opening. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Okay. Um, okay, now maybe the rating is showing a little bit. Okay. All right, they're maybe malfunctioning a little bit. Here. I just wanna find the quickest win. Um, here? We're gonna find a checkmate very quickly. Okay, there we go. We got a checkmate here. We have won the first game of the goose opening. Yeah! Okay, we're in game number two and thankfully we're getting the white pieces again. I'm gonna go for G4 now. I'm not sure why I'm saying that like it's a surprise. This is goose opening only. Okay, so they go e5 here, and we go h4, g4. Okay. Wow, this person's playing the same same thing. Wait, what? This person's playing the exact same thing. So I guess this is this is the trap that we've learned that a hundred percent of my opponents so far have fallen into, getting their knight trapped on g4. I mean, it's got a 100 percent knight trap night trap rate in this opening. So I guess we're learning the tips and tricks of the goose opening right now. It wins the night by force. Goose too strong. Okay, we've already got, a ooh, okay. This is an interesting idea, but I'm just gonna take the knight. I, I guess they wanted to try and checkmate me with this bishop here with the knight defending it. But unfortunately, because I take the bishop, I mean, because I take the knight, the bishop doing a check here is not gonna achieve much. Okay, so we grab the extra knight. We're going to go bishop g2. And then we're going to bring the knight over here. Okay, so they're bringing their pieces into the game. I'm going to play e3 now. Let's bring this knight out. Maybe we go over here at some point. I want to play knight f3. Okay, I'm going to go bishop d2. <clears throat> Let's go bishop here. So we're lining it up with the queen, threatening to maybe... Play something like this. Okay. Let's push. I want to trade off, get the two bishops on the board. Ooh, okay. Now we just get a fork here. And sometimes there's tactics with the rook hanging here, but at the moment my queen defends over here. So we're attacking two pieces at once. We're going to be winning another piece and, you know, goose is clearly OP. Okay, so something like this. Mm -mm -mm. Doesn't work. Okay, I want to do something with the revealed attack. But I'm not too sure. Okay, we'll just go knight f3 now. Develop this knight. Okay, pretty soon the geese will evolve and play the human opening. I know, they're f maybe feeling a little bit mocked right now. So now we have this, and we're going to follow it up with takes, takes, and check. Okay. Grab the queen. Grab the juicer. Okay. Let's go knight here. I just want to now checkmate as quickly as I can. Get the quick checkmates. Play queen f3, something like this, maybe. Boom. I should have just taken on d6, to be honest, so rook f8 is impossible. I got a little too excited, but that's okay. We're still going to checkmate them. Let's get the pieces in. Let's checkmate. Okay, good move. Maybe let's just take here. Check. And if king goes here, here. So there's a maiden two possible, maiden three or whatever possible. And now we go for this instead. Okay. 
And then we checkmate the barbecue. Okay, we got two wins in a row. Woo! Okay, now we gotta play with the black pieces, guys. This is where we're really gonna test the strength of the goose opening. Okay, we again have this um, knight f3 stuff. Let's see if they jump into g5. Let's see if they do this. Okay, they don't jump into g5, but they do jump forward. Okay, so we gotta go h5 here and defend the pawn. I was thinking about playing something like e6, but at the moment they can just take. I really wanna target this knight that's wandered a little too far over that side of the board. So if I go e6 now, wait, why have I been disconnected? No, okay, that scared me a little. We go e6 now, attacking the knight. They can maybe play something like this. No, okay, we take, they go here. And then where, uh, how am I gonna checkmate them? Maybe here? I don't know. Yeah, we can add a command maybe to uh, tell people about how speed runs work and stuff. Okay, so here, here. I'm gonna kind of just grab everything. After they move back, we can grab this rook here on h1. We take this. Okay, we go here. Now we get to bring the other pieces into the game with tempo, attacking the queen. We're also attacking this pawn. Okay. A 49 year old goose is probably wiser than all humans combined. The geese, the goose is the wisest being in all of existence. Let's take. Now I gotta find a way to get this bishop in maybe. Maybe this is how I checkmate. Something like this, boom. But they still have this square. Okay, we'll go bishop here. I'm just trying to find a, a, a checkmate. How do I checkmate them? I've still got so much time on the clock as well, so it's gonna be okay. Okay, check, yeah. Ooh. I almost have like a cool sacrifice with like this, 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 this. And after there, there. They've got this square. Which is the problem. I'm trying to set up cool checkmate, checkmate ideas and then I'm just wasting all my time. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus. Okay, we'll give a check here. And maybe we try and... What's on your thumb? I got a cut from rowing a boat. I did not row gently down the stream. I rowed very hard down the stream. Maybe we can bring this bishop in, start to attack like that. They're being very difficult to checkmate. Okay, maybe I go a6 and just try and get this queen out of the way. Go check. Why won't you let me checkmate you, sir? Maybe we could have gone for this or something. It was number. No, it was actually really fun. I just didn't realize that I was that I was cutting my hand until too late. Um, there's still nothing with this, 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 this. Go out this way anyway. Um, okay, focus, focus. Frick. Take. I'm wasting too much time trying to find cool checkmates and just like none of it's working so I need to just get over it and just play chess. Okay. Check. Okay, we finally find the checkmate after all this struggling. I finally found it. You know, it's very quick to get, um, to get matched in the pool at this elo, which is nice. Okay, against everything, you can play this goose opening. You play g5 here. Go for h5, g4. He played better than you. He did play very well, actually. Okay, they're getting the queen out. Let's honk. Okay, they're going for the scholar's mate. This is, this is the rating where we have to be worried about our opponents going for the scholar's mate all the time, I'm sure. I'm sure many people can relate on this. Let's get the bishop out. We stop them from developing their bishop this way. Then we play our second goose move. Okay. We're just going to expand in the center quite quickly, which is not something you get to do often in the goose opening. So this is nice. The bishop's now trapped here. So we're going to just grab grab the bishy. They get a pawn in return, but that's nothing to be too concerned about. Okay, we'll take... This isn't really threatening. Oh, what? Why did I think they were just trapped? Okay, never mind. Uh, now I'm kind of scared. 
Guru Knight here. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go. <laughs> just ignore everything that I'm saying. My brain is just a constant, constant uh, rate of confusion. They're playing so quickly. Um, just thinking, can I go here? I'm going to try qu trap the queen here. Here, here. Queen c7. I think traps the queen. Obviously they can trade here, but I don't think they'll do that. Okay, now we go here. We're going for bishop b7 here and trapping the queen. We'll take with the king so that the queen can't get out. Then we play this. I don't think there's any way they can stop it so they're going to be losing the queen here. Can take the pawn. My queen defends the pawn. Wait, oh right, no. At the moment it doesn't. Okay, so I have to go queen b6. Queen b6, bishop b7. Okay. okay. Yeah, now. Okay. Alright, because I know, I, I can't be losing, guys. It's so embarrassing if I lose. Okay, we take here, we take the knight. That was a, a sneaky move for my opponent. We will be taking here. <laughs> I know, sometimes it's easy to forget. That sort of thing. Okay, we play this. And then I think I'm going to take... Okay, we do have a sack set up here as well. Let's go take... Keep everything simple. We can. Hmm. Move over this way, maybe trying to infiltrate. Attack the... Attack the king if I can. This doesn't work. I thought it did, but it doesn't work. Maybe I can just go for taking here. Here, here, rook here though. Ah! Hmm. I'm thinking too much. Okay, maybe I just need to play a move. I just need to play a move, I think. Okay, we'll go here. Take the pawn. I mean, I could have taken the pawn. I could have done that. Okay, we'll go here. This is not the best quality of chess, to be honest, guys. This is not the best quality of chess, but I'm winning, and that's all that matters. As long as I'm winning. Okay. Uh, now we can take this pawn here. And then we're threatening to take this. Take. Now I love why you shouldn't take a rook with a queen. It's a trap. It's always a trap. Always. There's no exception. Hmm. Go grab this. Stop pushing. We'll push here after that. And then I don't think they can really stop us from queening. Okay. It's a trap! We're here, planning to just slide in the queen here. Doesn't matter that they're attacking us here because I'm attacking their rook. Even if they take with check, just king f3. The rook's attacks, we have moves like this. Why am I disconnected? Why am I disconnected? Rick! Why does it keep disconnecting me? What the heck? I know they blundered their rook, but I literally just got disconnected in the last second of the game. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I was thankfully going to be made in a bit. But why was I disconnected? We're at 11 wins in a row now. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Let's get to 600 ELO. Very respectable ELO, 600. Okay. I need to actually stop myself every single time. I need to stop and think, don't play the Sicilian, Hannah. Don't play the Sicilian. Okay. Go e6. Do I know who Josh later? No, I do not know who that is. No clue. Let's bring the bishop out here. And get all the pieces into the game. You really like to visit visit there. Australia is awesome. 
Australia is awesome. Um, there's so there's so many things to go see in Australia. So before I was gonna say before you die, you should visit Australia, but that's a little bit morbid. Australia is a wonderful place to visit. There's so many things to see: beautiful deserts, rainforests, the reef. It's it's really good. Don't be scared away by the big spiders and stuff, because I think most people are terrified by the spiders, so they won't visit. Don't be scared away. Visit Australia. You have a pet tarantula? Well, I maybe you're not going to be scared away by the giant spiders, but a lot of people are. A lot of people always are telling me, oh, I would visit Australia, but I can't because of everything that's so scary. So, guys, don't be afraid. Now let's just take. The small spiders that should scare you in Australia, true. The big ones are usually like so... So obvious and big that maybe they're not that scary anymore. Let's push here. It's the ones that sneak up on you. Uh, good move, good move. Actually, no. I just go here. Oh, okay. I almost just blinded a checkmate there. That was very scary. I had to stop myself because I almost played this and blinded rook, rook d8 here. So I need to make sure that I, I'm not... Okay, let's just castle here. Let's just castle. This game, if I'm posting if I'm posting the speed run to YouTube, we're not posting this game, okay? We're not posting this game. No one knows about this one, okay? I did not blunder made it one, nothing happened. YouTube is not gonna see this, okay? <laughs> oh no, I okay. That's fine. That's fine. This game is so okay. Here we have this. We're at least winning some material now, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're throwing so many so many things at me though. This is a, again a good move, which is worrying me. Okay. Because if here there's this. What the heck? Hmm. Here, here. I guess then here. Okay. So at least here, here, here. Yeah. They're playing really well, actually, though. So I need to be so scareful. Scareful? Careful. Scareful. This morning I was talking about, guys, I don't think my brain's working very well today, by the way. This morning I was like, oh, I'm excited to watch the Prognus versus Marg game. And then I was like, who are either of those people? Who are they? Okay, we'll go here. I know my bishop. <laughs> Prognus, and, Prognus and Marg, my favorite chess players. I mean, my brain's never working very well. Go here now, we're pitting them. Okay. Mm. Okay, we will win this, but they actually have like good tactics. They're yeah, actually playing well. So we got the two pass pawns though, which are gonna be too strong in the end, I think. But overall they played for some played for some nice stuff. Take. Okay, we'll go here and we'll attack this pawn here. Okay, geez. I cannot believe I blundered a checkmate in this game. This is this is a little worrying. I'm blundering checkmates. The king e7, push, and okay, GG's, GG's. I just want to show you guys. I just want to show you guys the checkmate. It was a brutal one too. If my opponent saw it, would have been very nice. Yeah. So taking here, I blunder mate in one, and it's the most brutal mate in one. 
We check here. And like usually the knight would be able to take back here, but I'm pinned. That was... Oh my gosh. We are one win away from the 600 elo that we've always dreamed of achieving with our goose opening, helping us along the way. Okay. I think I might just start playing more for tricks because you know what? Tricks are for kids and geese. And I'm at least one of those things. It's a speed run to 100 Elo, surely. And we'll go here. Take the juicer. Can't take there, really. I might just come back to this square. I want to play like bishop g2 next. You want to speed run to the lowest rating on chess.com and don't tell them? I'm absolutely telling them, Magnus Geary. How dare you do that? Was it an authorized speedrun account? I hope so. And we'll go knight here, just to block off and avoid the trade of the bishops for now. And now we'll just grab this brook, I think. It looks pretty free and available. Free real estate, some may say. The king's definitely going to be open at the end of this, but we got a rook, ladies and gentlemen. I did hear about that actually, um, you know, I heard about FIDE increasing the, the ratings of um, a lot of players. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that's a good idea? Okay, just blocking here. Here, we can just take... Take... Just try and trade queens here. Okay, we got the queens off the board and we're up four points of material. Obviously our pawns are a little bit a little bit ugly, but that's fine. It's all about personality and um anyway. Okay, they're threatening this, which I <clears throat> totally saw. Okay. I'm gonna push now and try and get my Try and get this rook out. Try and trade here and get this rook out. And then we can get some monster rooks on the 7th rank. Okay, now I'm going to take. Take. And if they take back, I take here. I'm winning more material. Okay. Now let's give a check. Or right here. push and see if we can just trade off because if we can trade off into an end game where we're up a lot of material like this one this is gonna be good okay this we can now finish off quite quickly i reckon who's kind of say so i've never heard of her I, I only know the silly goose lady i never lose except for that one time where i did Okay, GG's. We now have a checkmate and we're at 600 ELO. Woo! Okay, we have successfully gained 200 rating in the first day of the Goose opening extravaganza. That was really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the side of this. So um, I was thinking maybe making this a YouTube video. But you have to make me look like I'm really good at chess in the YouTube video. That's the one thing that I have as a, as a requirement. <laughs>